Okay, 3, 2, 1, let's go. For the past year and a bit, I have shared a bunch of my life on YouTube. I have taken you with me to Southeast Asia, traveled to Rome multiple times. I have taken you with me once I felt my best and when life was really peaking. But I have also shown you some of the most personal and vulnerable stuff that happens in my life. Stop. And show you that everything is not perfect all the time. I feel really uncomfortable in my own skin right now. However, I still feel that you guys don't really know that much about me. That is why I have decided to make this video. Within the next couple five minutes or so, you're going to learn much more about me. And if you want to know more, don't be afraid to ask. Okay. Let's go. Okay. If you were a condiment, what would it be? I would be black currant jam. It goes well with peanut butter and raspberry and strawberry is just too basic and boring. And I'm not like that. <laughs> no, you're not. Good. How did your eating disorder start? Well, it comes down to a lot of things, but I was never really the athletic girl in school. I did a sport that wasn't very sporty. People started pointing out that my thighs were big and it's super stupid because they were not. And then I got into a relationship, not a serious one. He broke up with me and then I thought it had something to do with my body. I decided to turn into weight too much exercise it was just a spirit of things when social media was very toxic in terms of calories six-pack workouts and all that stuff i spiraled down into a deep black hole i'll do a video more in that one but it's just a short explanation for it what was your dream job as a child i wanted to be a vet because i used to ride horses and i wanted to have one myself and then be able to take care of it <laughs> would you say that sharing your journey on social media has helped you in recovery or has had the opposite effect i'd say it has helped me tremendously in the beginning i was so scared to share everything but I feel that the more I have been able to connect with you guys sharing my journey and helping you realize that you're not alone and I make myself realize that I'm not alone either I think it has boosted me in the right direction I would want to recover regardless but it has really done much good for me how much money do you make on YouTube I actually get a lot of questions about that and I think I am going to save it for another video so let me know if you'd be interested in me doing that yeah I'm not gonna say more about it now do you have any regrets in life I don't have any regrets in life I do have stuff that I would like to have done differently but I think that if I would have done something differently, it would not have been like life-changing decisions because that wouldn't have made me be here where I am today. So no, no regrets. How did you and your boyfriend meet? We actually work in the same industry. Just got to talk through that. And then I was actually one who slid into your DMs. <laughs> yeah. Don't be afraid of doing that. What is your most powerful personality trait? I am determined as f I'm gonna blur that, but really. Yes, you are. If I want something, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I'll do whatever it takes. Running a certain distance, certain time, setting myself to complete a skill or task or performing at work, whatever. I will do everything 100%. It's my most powerful trait, but it's also something that can be destructive. Don't get me wrong, it's not destructive now, but I really need to learn how to ease down as well. But I am really, really determined and ambitious, I'd say too. Do you envy anything about other people? Absolutely not. Everybody's got their own backpack or whatever. They're past them history you can always envy someone for something but you know what i'm trying to say is that nobody is perfect and the grass is not greener on the other side so no i don't do you have any fears or phobias you wouldn't believe this considering how much i love to travel but i am terrified of flying like really if there is the slightest turbulence my hands start to shake and i'm really really nervous but when you're up cruising it's fine and for phobias i have tribophobia tribophobia like symmetric holes and patterns no it's stupid, but I can't explain it. It's just something. <laughs> what do you see when you look at yourself in the mirror? That's deep. Um, a strong individual who has come a long way from where I've started. I see someone that I can be proud of, but also a person that I need to take better care of. <laughs> Not push myself too hard and just be good to myself. But essentially also someone that I'm really proud of. And if you would have asked me a year ago or longer that I would be where I am today, I wouldn't have believed it. Do you find it weird or awkward to film in public? We do that right now <laughs> sometimes yes sometimes no i do when i'm alone in denmark my home country i find it so awkward but if i'm with you someone else i don't but whenever i travel i don't care it's stupid but whenever i walk out on the street i don't give a f at all what is the hardest part about traveling solo saying goodbye it's hard to say goodbye to the ones you leave at home but especially the ones you meet you have an idea that you may meet up somewhere in the future in another country or whenever you continue to travel but saying goodbye has been the toughest part if you could have one superpower what would it be i'd like to be invisible it sounds creepy but i like to know everything so you can stalk on people of course <laughs> 
what would you like to be remembered by? Someone who inspired other people, being a leading example of a young girl who decides to travel the world and not being afraid of what potentially could happen. To be someone who you find inspiring as to go out, do your thing, not care about what anybody else says. Essentially just take the leap and just go. Not be afraid of traveling on your own essentially and just make your own decisions. But mostly being a leading example, yeah, in recovery and solo traveling, that would be really cool. Jeg skifter lige hånd på det sidste her. Gør det. Og så skal du lige rykke dig lidt igen. <laughs> jeg mover bare rundt. Do you have a lot of friends or a few close ones? Quality over quantity. I am actually quite blessed to have lots of people in my life that I care about and that also care about me. But I think I can count on one hand or something. The people in my life that I know will get up at 3 a.m. for me. I think that's it. Yeah, we made it somewhat short, hopefully. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Det er kun en 10,5 minutter.